All right, so if you're following along, go ahead and open up your practice file and go to slide 1.4, practice. So just like in the previous activity, we have a starter slide with a few items here on the slide for you. If I pull up the timeline, you can see that we just have a, a couple images. We have this box right here, a little bit of text heading for the title and the instructions, and then we have four items over here on the left side. Now we want to make these interactive so that these items are dragged and dropped into the box, and then we want to evaluate whether or not those were the right choices. You'll also notice over here in the slide layers that we don't have any slide layers yet. This is just a, a blank slide with a, a few images and text objects placed on it. So we're going to convert this to a free form question. We do that by going up to the insert menu and click convert to free form. And you can see that you have a few other choices for free form questions. In this example, we're of course working with, with the drag and drop. So go ahead and click OK. And this opens a form where you can choose your drag items right over here and your drop targets. The form also provides some feedback options down here on the bottom, as well as some scoring and additional feedback like attempts and scoring for the interaction. But for now, we're just going to leave everything at the default setting and we want to select the draggable items. Now you'll notice that as I click the drop down menu, you see over here on the right side, there's a little highlight on the image preview. This helps me identify the objects that I'm selecting. Of course, it's always good to name your objects anyway, but you can see the, the visual confirmation over here in the thumbnail as you select them. So my four items, right, the flashlight, the hot dogs, the radio, and the water are selected, and I want to set up my drop target. In this case, when it's not a sorting activity. We only have one target. So everything's going to go into the box, even the item that we would normally not want in there. In this case, the hot dogs. We're not going to choose the box, but by making it a draggable item, it becomes a valid choice. So I'm going to go ahead and select each of those items. So we have three that should go in and then one that shouldn't go in. So let's go ahead and just preview our interaction and see how it looks. Okay, so the interaction still looks the same, but this time these objects over here on the left are now draggable. And you can see that I can stack them here in the box. And they're not stacking the same way we, we showed the first time, right? But uh, we'll take a look at some options. But now they're all placed in the box. I click Submit and I'm presented with some feedback. And that's how easy it is to convert a static slide of content into a drag and drop interaction in Storyline. In the next tutorial, we'll look at some additional ways to customize how these objects are placed into the box.